Welcome back to another video. Because we're in Blender, let's just hit general and AX delete everything. And that's the best part about it. So, um, I feel bad I haven't done anything in like, I don't know, two months. Last video I did, it was like two and a half months. Um, and now it's June. It'll probably be three months since I made my last video. So I feel really bad. It was about Yoda, and it like didn't even get any views, but that's okay, um, because we're gonna learn about cores today. You guys really seem to be interested in the character creation part of it, and the skin texturing, and all that kind of stuff. And um, I love that stuff. I love teaching about that stuff. And so let's just learn about it. So um, what we're gonna do? Um, get over here. Um, what we can do is go to Sketchfab and get a head or something. Um, preferably not pricey um, or just free. There's a ton of them on Sketchfab. Um, this one's pretty famous, the Lee Perry one. Um, yeah, just, just get whichever one you want. Um, and so, oh, that one's cool. Anyways, so get one of those and then put it in to here. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna append, I'm gonna append one. I'm gonna get this guy. And I'm going to click append, uh, go to objects, and get uh, possibly this guy. I call him Disc Skin Boy. And Disc Skin Boy um, is somewhere. Oh, yeah, there he is. Okay. So, yeah, I'm actually just going to shift S and selection the cursor. Okay, so put them right in the middle. All right, so we got this guy. If we go over here, we have no modifiers, we have no nothing. In fact, if you go to this mode, um, it's fairly low poly for a character like this, I would say. I mean, it's not necessarily low poly if you go to, you know, statistics. I mean, it's about, what, 12,000 faces. Um, but that's okay, because what we're going to do is we're going to go to the multi-resolution modifier, and we're going to hit this like four times um the higher it is the better resolution you'll get uh so once you uh do that four times yeah right there um then you should check right here and it'll say three million faces which is a lot so what you're going to want to do to not kill your computer is just hit the level viewport to one keep the render at four keep the sculpt at four and you'll be good to go so what we want to do is now we want to go to ZBrush Alphas, right? So we're going to go to the Alpha Library. And this has a ton of stuff that you can use. So we have skins right here. Um, I usually go down. These are like the pores. Uh, so we can just save that one. Um, I'm going to save this to just pores one. And... Uh, don't mind the reference photos over here, those are for a project. Um, and I want that one. I'm going down, uh, find ones that look pretty detailed. Um, the more detailed, the better. And a trick that I found is you use these wrinkles for the lips and, you know, also for wrinkles. And so I'm just going to call these lips uh, one. I'm going to call these just what it's called, and I'm going to say it all together. Okay, so we got a bunch of them, and this is such a cool uh, website. You got, like, rocks. You got, like, effects ground new, which new as in, like, 12 years ago, but it's still cool. So what we're going to do is we have our character saved. So this is the unwrapping thing. Go ahead and unwrap them if they're not already unwrapped, um, and then... Let's go to sculpting. So we have a super high poly mesh here because we're going to go to texture. We're going to hit new and we're going to hit open and we're going to go to wherever you save them. So I'm just going to start with that one. And if we have it on that and if you have it on that, um, what you want to do is lower it. Just start at point one. And if you want to start making mistakes, uh, go to the back and it doesn't seem to be working but that's okay um 
Let me make sure to correct them right. Um, but another thing I have to pay attention to is go to texture and go to view plane. Once you go to view plane, hit anchored. Um, and this is going to change a lot. So actually, we can go to like point two if we need to. Um, so these pores are going to be like right here. Um, those look really nice. Um, if you want it a bit strong, you go to like 0 0.3, 0 0.35. But I actually want them kind of into his face. So uh, more indented pores here. So like the thing is, is definitely go slow. Um, those are pretty, those are pretty powerful. He, he has a lot of acne inside of his face, so that's okay. Um, yeah. And so there's all that. Um, and to go on the nose, there's a lot of pores on the nose. Your noses have the probably the biggest pores um, on your body. And yeah, that one looks pretty big. So maybe you know just be careful of you know how big you're making it. Um, and so yeah, so that looks pretty good. This guy has a lot of acne. Um, and then you can actually go to uh, another texture as well. And they're all actually going to be saved in here, even if you exit out on it. You know, I can just go to exit out one. Um, then I'm gonna, just going to exit out. Um, I'm going to open maybe this one. Um, let's see how this one looks. And it actually saves all the same kind of data, you could say. Um, so these are quite different, you know, definitely use different types of pores and stuff. Um, it just makes it a lot more fun. And uh, under the eyes, older people that have, not to be weird, but like scalier eyes, um, or, you know, the lizard people, they have very scaly eyes. I'm just kidding. Um, what we do is, let's work on some lip stuff now. So let's go to the lips. And how I do this is these look pretty strong. So what some people do is they don't even use a texture. I mean, they can just drag up and down. Uh, but I just like to do this. Um, you just kind of match it up right there. Um, the creases on your lip are actually pretty big. Um, and so these are pretty accurate, actually. Um, yeah, and so... Have all of those, and those are actually pretty strong. So, what we can do is just lower the strength on this. Um, yeah, and we got some nice lip stuff. So, that is how to add pores to skin. And I mean, you can you can just keep going. Um, we don't want to add textures to pretty much anything other than the sculpt, just the main brush right here, the draw brush, I guess you could say. Um, so, I'm going to be do a little bit of these harder wrinkles. I'm gonna do those uh, kind of over here under the eyes. Um, that just gives a lot more detail. I mean, you can have a cool looking base mesh, but these just really add a ton of detail. And even under the chin, I mean, I like to put these in the creases, um, like kind of like right here. Um, actually, if you wanna, you know, do this, uh, oh, that was pretty hard. Um, do like point one. If you want to do like a nose crease right here, um, then you can start putting them in there as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. You know, put them on the nose or whatever. So yeah, that's that's how to make pores in Blender. That's how to make your character look way better. And the cool thing is, I'm pretty sure this guy is textured. So uh, no, actually, I'm gonna have to ooh, apply the texture. This I did mention this in my skin video. Um oh no never mind. This texture is missing because it's on a different drive. But um yeah that's how I make it and if you actually put it before in the material viewport uh you can actually see it a lot better. Uh so that is how to make pores. I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep watching for more and hasta la vista, friends. And now for a special message. Hi! So, I am sorry that this video is low quality. I'm recording on OBS because I didn't feel like getting on my computer. But, 
um i wanted to say since you guys have been supporting me um here and there and i um see that there's like more and more videos or more and more views every week for the videos i just wanted to say i'm starting a patreon um so you can go over there to that cgi guy and uh, on patreon if you would like to support me um i will definitely be doing more in-depth tutorials over there sorry that i have not been posting more um to those who care um and uh soon probably this week or the next week um or tomorrow i will be doing a, a facial motion capture video showing you uh, how to do facial motion capture because uh, i figured it out finally after a little bit of time and i think i got it pretty well done so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the videos. I'll see you later, amigos.